This video is sponsored by Enigma Recovery. Things go wrong, but when they do, you can recover your deleted iPhone, iPad, and iPod data with Enigma Recovery. iOS 11 is now available to download for your iPhone and iPad, and the list of new features is pretty long. This is a major update, but I think it's the iPad that benefits most, with iOS 11 finally turning it into a sort of viable laptop replacement. We've got a new macOS style dock for the home screen, revamped control panel, improved multitasking, an updated app store, and as boring as it sounds, a proper file management app, which is actually incredibly useful. So with iOS 11 installed, the first thing you'll notice on your iPad is the new dock, which is similar to what you'll find on an iMac or MacBook Pro. It's a small addition, but it makes a big difference to how you actually use your iPad. It shows a range of your most used apps, along with what you've currently got open in the background. You can drag and drop apps to change what's on it, and it's also context sensitive, so if you plug in a pair of headphones, for example, video and music apps will pop up. It's pretty neat, and it kind of makes the iPad feel more like a MacBook than a tablet. Also on the dock, you'll find the new Apple Files app, which I think is one of the best additions in iOS 11 and replaces the old iCloud Drive app. This one central location lets you browse, search, and organize all your files that are stored on your iPhone, iPad, or even on your iCloud or Dropbox drives. It just makes it so much easier and faster to see where all your stuff is. Next up, we've got the brand new control panel. Just simply swipe up from the bottom to view the new multitasking overview screen, which shows all your open apps, which you can resume or dismiss, as well as the control panel, which lets you quickly access all your iPad's important settings. And if you press and hold on some of the options, you'll get some iPhone 3D touch style extra settings. Now sticking with multitasking, split view or having two apps side by side on the iPad isn't new, but the latest iOS 11 adds something called drag and drop, which lets you say drag text from a web page into your notes app or a picture from your photos app into an email. It's really intuitive and seems crazy this is a new feature. It feels like we should have had this a long time ago. Apple's also redesigned the App Store for the first time in like nine years to make it easier to discover new apps and games. There's a row of new tabs along the bottom, which lets you filter by games, apps, and even a new daily highlights tab. But actually, one of my favorite new features in the App Store is that if you're a massive nerd like me and enjoy reading patch notes, Apple's also revamped the updates tab, which lets you quickly see what's changed in your favorite apps and games. If you've got an iPad Pro, you may also have an Apple Pencil, and the good news is that's been improved in iOS 11 as well. You can now draw over screenshots you take, mark up PDFs, and the Notes app has been improved, letting you mix text and sketches in a single file. So those are the headline new features for iPad, but iOS 11 adds loads of cool other stuff, including support for augmented reality with a new AR kit for developers, money transfers and iMessage, indoor maps for Apple Maps, do not disturb while driving, particularly useful for the iPhone, a new visual interface for Siri, and looping live photos like Instagram's boomerang effect. So iOS 11 is a big update, and with the new dock, multitasking control center, and files app, it makes the iPad finally seem like a viable laptop replacement, assuming you also pay for the extra Apple Pencil and keyboard. But what do you think? Would you now consider the iPad as an alternative to a laptop? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, tap that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat. Thanks for watching. Losing your data, your stuff, is incredibly frustrating, and things go wrong. You may accidentally delete something, and who knows when your iPhone or iPad may suddenly stop working, or even get stolen, and that's where Enigma Recovery comes in. It lets you recover deleted messages, including iMessages, WhatsApp, and texts, as well as deleted contacts, notes, call history, and even what's on your calendar. Using the backup extractor feature, you can even recover lost photos, videos, and your internet history from iTunes and iCloud backups. So you can download the Enigma Recovery software for PC or Mac, and the Enigma Restore app is now compatible with iOS 11. So don't risk it, give Enigma Recovery a try and back up your data now.